What's up guys, it's Osiris. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you a trick used in production and mixing. This trick is called single track multiband processing. This is just when you split a single track into multiple bands so that you can process each band separately. I have a drum track here and I've split this drum track into a low, mid and high band and I can just process the high band elements separately from the mids and the low. So this is just a technique to give you more options and control when you have a single track. So let's see how this sounds. I'll be showing you how to set this up and yeah, let's get right into this. We are going to be using four insets for this setup. I'll name the first one drums and the second one low, mid and high. So I'll route the drum track to the drums, then unroute the track from the master and route the track to the low, mid and high. To split this drum track you need a multiband compressor. In FL Studio, you can use Maximus to do this. So what you want to do is turn off the compression on every band, then set where you want your bands to be. So I can just have my high at around 2,000, 3,000. Yeah, then the low end around 250. Then I'm going to solo the low end. Then I'm just going to copy this into the mid. Um, switch to the mid band and solo the band. Copy this into the high and do the same thing. Now we have this. So you can do the same thing with Re-X Comp. It's just the same thing. You set your band, then you turn off compression and solo the current band. Then just copy it out into the other band. So if you don't have Maximus, this is a free plugin you can use to achieve the same setup. Let's play around this and see. See some creative things we can do with this. Adding a reverb to the high end makes the track sound lively without putting on a reverb on other elements like the snare and the kick. So you can also do some creative things like I've done this before. I did a delay to the mid. You can do this on any element, vocals, drums, um, anything at all. And I've seen an engineer use this on vocals and it just like added saturation on the high and the mid end and just left out the low end. Then added reverb on the high end 
and the mid left out the low end center the low end then spread out the high end to be a little bit wide in the stereo image and yeah so this just gives you options for lots of creativity and control so this is how to split a single track into multiple bands so you can process them separately so that will be all for today guys hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you've learned something new from this if you did don't forget to um, give the video a thumbs up and if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments if you have any video suggestions leave them in the comments thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yeah guys peace